Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome to some EVE Online and today's video is going to be a little bit like a tutorial uh, because I finally found another one of these extremely hard signatures to scan. Um, even in high sec you will come across these and uh, in low and null sec and wormhole space you'll find even harder signatures to scan. Um, so what I want to show you guys uh, is that uh, if you cannot scan a signature with the pinpoint uh, formation and that CCP gives you there are ways to try and get one of those almost impossible signatures so yeah uh, it was a relic uh, crumbling serpentis abandoned co colony and uh, I'm going to see if I can uh, find it back and show uh, all about the uh, the custom um, the custom probe formations in this video so let's try and first of all let's try and uh, get uh, get as close as possible on the uh, on the signature as we can let's start out by doing that so as always you just uh, it's become very easy you just uh, select the signature then you uh, lower the uh, the radius of your probes you put them uh, the signature as much as possible in the middle of your probes and then uh, here we go scanning it down so you keep doing this until of course you've either found it or you get very close but as you can see this is a very hard one I'm going to go uh, two radiuses smaller and then start moving in here but uh, despite having scanned three times I'm still only at 3.6 percent so this is definitely one of those very hard signatures and when you're seeing something like this yeah, you can expect it to become something uh, that's very tricky uh, to probe down. Um, you can get your skills up. You can probably also get a better ship, uh, which has specific bonuses. Um, and of course, I am using a, a sister core probe launcher with sister probes, which is already helping me quite a lot as well. But despite all of that, I am now on the smallest uh, radius, and I'm going to try and plunk my um, my probes as good as possible so that I get the best possible result and here we go this is as good as I can get it with the pinpoint formation and here we go 81% that's pretty much uh, the best that I can do uh, just with, with all the normal stuff so uh, after this you have no choice but to try and go into the pinpoint formation and um, with the small icon here on the right side of it you can actually manage them so I have close close two and close three I'm actually going to show you first how to remove one so let's remove close two and close three uh, because um, yeah those are actually not optimal ones neither is this one but I will give it a try so let's press close three and then I just activate it and here we go this is uh, another one of my custom formations that is extremely close by so all the probes if i press shift you can see them uh, are very close uh, to one another and this will actually um, increase the signal strength um, enough to do at least most of them in high sec i've not really encountered any that i couldn't do anymore so yeah let's let's just give it a try here uh, you can tell just from uh, all the spheres here that it's really very very close to one another and this is why you want to have some custom formations and there you go I actually succeed in uh, grabbing this uh, relic signature uh, despite the fact that on the pinpoint formation I could not now uh, one of the things that uh, I should point out is that if you start with your pinpoint formation uh, it's actually uh, not the best one to try and uh, get um, get a special formation that's optimal. The reason for this is that uh, a lot of them are just distributed in, in a pretty damn weird way. Um, as you can see here we have five probe, five of these probes uh, around a central one and then two of them above this one. So what I like to do personally uh, for a great formation is to just have four of them so maybe I'll make it cu another custom one just to show you guys so I'm, I'm just keeping shift uh, pressed here and so what I you want to do what I prefer to do is to have four of them let's see if I can get that done quickly here is just to have four of them in um, around a central probe like that after that you can move the other two 
a lot closer and then the eighth probe you just bring it in pretty close to your central probe like this and uh, after that you can of course start uh, to scale them all down as much as possible you know you can get them really close to one another like this and then just keep going let's have a quick look here again yeah that's all looking decently good uh, then you oh, Actually, I should not be doing that on individual probes. But then you can go to like your smallest possible um, part and then just do the experiment again, constantly moving them closer and closer to one another until you finally uh, get the signature. And when that is done, let's say that uh, this current formation that you've created here is the one that gets you the signature. You can then normally always save them. Let's say um, test one. Just give it a name, test one, there we go. Save, and if for instance you go back to your pinpoint formation, you can now select test one, click on the icon, and then you're back in that formation that you've created. Uh, but the one that I've found to be the most useful one is what I've pretty much shown you here. Um, you have a central probe, uh, you have four of them in, in a diamond formation right around them, and then one on top, one on the bottom, and then the other one, you try and bring it in very close so this is actually not really too good. You really try and bring it in very close to your central probe. And uh, that's been working quite well for me as a custom formation for some of these uh, very hard signatures to scan down. So yeah, there we go. Uh, what I'll do, let's recover them. To, um, to end the video, I'll quickly take a look at the, uh, the relic site that we've scanned here. You will see that it is of, of a slightly higher quality uh, than what you find with just a few scans normally and there will be just more containers in there so i'll check it out to do a quick scan if there happens to be a bbc that would be great news of course oh i actually can't do a quick scan because um because this is my specialized ishtar and that does mean that i have to um refit it but i have everything for that here with me normally Yep, here we go. If I go to the default one, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six containers. That's not bad at all. And um, if I need to, I can always deploy this baby. And in just a second, I can refit and uh, go do the site. So let's quickly end this then. And yeah, this is this. These are these. Uh, these harder signatures, you know, you do get six containers out of them. You'll find more of these in low sec and then even more uh, in uh, in null sec. But you do need to be very specialized and uh, to know what you're doing when probe scanning in order to actually get them. Just using the pinpoint formation is not always enough. And that's why uh, I wanted to quickly show you guys about the custom formation, uh, how it works. Uh, you can just delete them right here. You can press shift. Uh, while your probes are deployed in order to um, to get into that custom formation that works uh, better than the pinpoint one and then you can just save it and reuse it later on very handy stuff so this one is almost coming online then I can quickly do a scan of them let's see if it, it's actually worth it like that I can now use the fitting service uh, you're going in here you as well a relic analyzer and a Cargo scanner while I target all of this. Cargo scanner. Come on. And let's see what's in here. In the meantime, I can actually uh, scoop this one to cargo hold. Alright, spatial attunement. That's not bad. That's at least a little bit of ice cake. Not a lot though. 170,000. Well, that's not even that much. Uh, this is nothing special. You're next. Nope, nothing special either. Nope. And then the last one at 50. What are you looking like? Yeah, that's, that one is actually uh, the best one. Two special attunement units. So uh, let's quickly go for that one. Micro warp drive on for full speed. And uh, let's see if I can actually grab this or not. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the hex will also be a little harder uh, than, uh, than what you see in, in the very easy sites with just three or four containers. And uh, a specialized chip like the Stratios can of course help you there as well. So let's burn towards that serpentis debris. 
Uh, let's see if I can actually grab these two special attunements. Uh, maybe another piece of information. If you start, uh, if you actually um, unlock one of these containers, oops, I should actually really start to slow down, then uh, the site will despawn. So just finishing one of these hacks will start the timer for the site. Let's see what we get here. Here we go. And I think it's in part containers, but I'm not entirely sure. And man, they're actually going quite fast, which is not great. Because I've not been doing too well. Uh, any parts? Yep, here we go. Here's a parts container. Who's next? Materials. Alright, that one is blinking. So that's not it either. Data there. So really it's going to be in a materials container. Data, materials, materials. Yeah, then it becomes a big gamble, to be honest. Because uh, I'm just too slow. Oh, here is actually another parts one. Let's see if that's what we want. Yep, there you go. Two special attunements. I mean, it's not great, 100,000 ISK, but at least it's, uh, it's something. And now I can once again confirm, you'll find those in parts containers. Anyway, it's time for me to uh, start heading back to home base, actually. I've been uh, scanning quite a lot and finding very little, but uh, I did manage to find the signature, and uh, that this way I could show you guys the uh, custom formation. So, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time.